welcome back everybody droidlife.com so if you've been following along with us through our guide to rooting 2.1 and installing 2.2 you should be at the point where we got sp recovery flashed onto our phone okay so we have a new recovery image which will allow us to install android 2.2 with root access okay so we're not rooted right now all we have is a new recovery image which allows us to do amazing stuff okay so what we need to do now is if you're following along on our blog you should be downloading the Sapphire 0.7.0 update.zip file to your computer. Okay. Once you have downloaded it, find it. And what we're going to do now is rename it to update.zip. Okay. Just update.zip. That's it. Don't, uh, don't call it update.zip.zip or anything weird like that. We want just update.zip. If, if your computer is not showing file extensions like .zip, just call it update and move on with it, okay? Trust me on this. Okay, so from here, once we have it renamed, we are mounting our droid and we're gonna transfer the file over, okay? So mounting droid should pop up any second now. Okay, now what we're doing is dropping this file on the root of our SD card. Okay, you've seen that, you've heard that a lot, you're still probably wondering what exactly that means. All it means is you're putting this file straight on your SD card, not in any file whatsoever. Okay, so if I just click and drag over and drop it and make sure it does not go into a file or a folder, I'm sorry, then we're good. Okay, and once this gets done, we're, we're pretty much there. All we need to do is reboot our phone into recovery, flash this file, install this file, whatever the hell you wanna say there, and we should be good. So we'll let this finish up. I'll show you that the file is on there. All right, as you can see down here, update.zip, okay? Update.zip, it is not in any sort of folder. See, there's all our folders. It's not in a folder, it's just hanging out on our SD card, okay? So we'll zoom back out here. We can go ahead and unmount our droid. Turn off USB storage, droid, thank you. Okay, once that kind of, you know, has a second to load back up, what we're gonna do now is boot into recovery, which means we power off. So go ahead and power off. Droid. Thank you, droid. Okay, I'm actually gonna unplug the USB cable. Doesn't necessarily matter all that much, but just like to. Okay, booting into recovery, hold X and the power button at the same time until your phone starts booting up, okay? Holding X still till we actually get to our recovery screen. And there we go, you can let go X now. So here we go. What we wanna do first is drop down to wipe data factory reset. Click okay on that, scroll all the way down to yes and click on that and allow that to run through shouldn't take too long okay next thing you can just drop down to wipe cache partition and click ok this probably happens with the factory reset but let's just make sure okay next thing we do go down to install click ok and we want to go to this second option which says allow update.zip check that then go down to the next one and which is install sd card update.zip and it will up it will install that update.zip file that we dropped right on the root of our sd card so go ahead and click ok and let the magic happen okay so welcome to sapphire that's what we want to see right there and you can see the process is going along All right, so as you can see, after just a couple of minutes, or not even a couple of minutes, we got SD install from SD card complete. We should be sapphired up. So now all you need to do is up top here, hit the power button once. It will take you back to the main menu. Scroll up to reboot system now. Camera button, okay. Let it reboot. And when this thing reboots, we should be uh, Android 2.2, root access. And this, like I said, this is the newest build. This is the cleanest stock build that you're going to find right now from the Sapphire team. So we'll just let this roll. All right, so if you see the uh, 
sapphire there loading up as your new boot screen that means we got good stuff going on so let that thing keep rolling all right so here we are booted back up um, obviously you have to activate your phone because we did that factory reset so you can go ahead and do that now I'm actually gonna skip through this and, and for those of you that don't know a good trick to skip by this activation screen is just to touch all four corners of your droid in a row and it skips right by it okay so here we are you can see right there there's the uh, Froyo uh, tip guy there's the Froyo launcher as you can see we tap that loads up you know our new launcher and sure enough right there is our super user ninja meaning we have root access um, so from here really all you need to do is uh, go to the market re-download all your apps your paid apps are in there um, you are essentially ready to go with froyo make sure you activate your phone and all that stuff uh, i skipped mine but you can activate it and then get into all this stuff so um yeah i would suggest downloading rom manager and flashing clockwork recovery or you know just mess around with other roms if you want but you are now android 2.2 froyoed okay anyway check us out the blog droid-life.com and we're out peace